I'm Ryan Witte with Holly EFI, and today we're going to talk about flex fuel. Pretty much everything I'm going to go over is in the help contents under the V4 software update overview. And down at the end is an appendix that covers flex fuel capability. So if you want to reference that as well, if you can't get to the video, you can look there. first thing you need to do is set up a flex fuel sensor, which would be an input. You can title it whatever you want. It will be a digital speed frequency. And it will be GM flex fuel in the drop down. After that, all you do is you go and you add a advanced ICF to your tune if you do not have one. And the first thing you do is you set up a fuel modifier. You use a fuel flow multiplier. Depending on your tune, you either use a VE based or a fuel flow multiplier. The fuel flow multiplier multiplies the fuel volume on everything in the tune, including cranking, AE fuel, all of it. So this will correct the fueling everywhere. The next thing to do is to select the flex fuel sensor to reference. And there you have at the bottom your flex fuel, your ethanol percent from 0 to 100. Now the, the baseline in the help file goes from 0 to 34 percent. And that assumes that you've built your base tune off of 100 percent gasoline. Uh, a lot of times that doesn't actually happen, so you'll end up taking this curve and offsetting it for whatever your base, your base fuel ethanol level was. Um, you know, most of the time you'll have somewhere between 10 and 15 percent ethanol and you just use the sensor during your tuning to read that and then whatever that point is, you know, let's say you have 20 percent ethanol is where you're at for all of your base tune. What you do is offset this entire curve by 6.8 because of that since that's actually your real baseline, your zero point. So you highlight the whole thing, offset minus 6.8 and now your entire curve is accurate based on a base tune of E20 fuel. The next thing you do is, so you're doing this because you want to be able to dump any 85. So what you do is you want to be able to add boost, add fuel, add timing, whatever you want to your tune between the two settings. So the next thing you can do is set up a if it's boosted, you can set up a boost offset. Based on the same things. Your table type will be a boost offset, your x-axis will be a fuel, a flex fuel sensor, or whatever you've titled it. And from there, based on your ethanol percent, you can just add boost. Say you want to add five pounds of dome at 60% ethanol, it's really that easy. I mean, you just pick these tables for however you want. You can do whatever you want based on the ethanol percent. The other thing you may want to do is an AFR offset. Again, you just set your x-axis for whatever you're using, in this case the flex fuel sensor and the table type to whatever you want to modify. So the flex fuel sensor is at the bottom, ethanol percent, and your new target air fuel ratio is here. Now this one, I'm showing it in a 1D table. Really, you probably want to do a 2D table on this one. You know, this is offsetting it at all times. So anytime your ethanol percent you know, is above 27 in this case, it'll start modifying it. Really, 
you'd want to do this one as a as a 2D table and sort of mimic your your actual target. You'd set up your table as an AFR offset, do a target uh, air fuel ratio offset, make your x-axis, your ethanol percent, your y-axis boost effectively, and then you have your table for how, how much you want to offset your boost, you know. You may want to allow you know, an extra two points richer here and fade it back to no richer down here. And same over here. Um, same thing with the timing offset. So you set up a table type as timing offset, x-axis as your ethanol percent, your y-axis is boost, and you do the same thing. You can offset your timing based on ethanol percent and boost. You can also use other things. You could use RPM and flex fuel percent. It's really up to you how you want to utilize the advanced tables for anything. In this case, flex fuel. I mean, there's, we don't lock you in to any specific way to do this. So really that's all there is to flex fuel and an EFI with us. It's that simple. Thanks for tuning in to Holly Tech Tips. Be sure to uh, let us know if you have any ideas for future videos. I'm Ryan Whitty. Have a great day.